Hello and good day, this is Scott with Wet Edge, and I'd like to welcome you to another one of our product information videos. And I'd also like to thank you for giving us your time and consideration. Now today, in this video, we won't be talking about a specific product per se, but rather the discussion is going to focus on the subject of dark colors, which are available in all our product lines to some capacity. And we're going to start talking about the different types of watercolor that they'll give you and how they can affect water temperature. And then we'll end the discussion by exploring some of the different challenges that a dark colored finish can present. Okay, now let's, talk, let's briefly talk about a little bit um, about the type of watercolor that a dark pool finish gives you. Now, and when I talk about dark colored pool finishes, I'm obviously first in, for, for referring to our black bottom or black colored finishes, which tend to give you, uh, or actually they can give you either blue or green. I've seen them do both. But if you were to ask me to ascribe adjectives that would characterize the type of watercolor that a dark pool finish gives you, well, what comes to my mind are words like rich or texture or regal or natural. Um, dark colored pool finishes tend to excel at giving, for those of you who are looking for that natural lagoon setting, or for those of you in the Northeast or the upper Midwest, uh, for those rock quarries uh, filled with water, you know, if you can picture that kind of setting. Or for those of you who've been up in the mountains and that lake colored water, these, all of those themes or motifs are, are, are best suited for like a dark colored water. Now, to fully experience and enjoy that, that type of watercolor, you need a couple things. First of all, obviously, the bigger and deeper the pool, the richer and more intense the watercolor is going to be as compared to that same finish in a smaller, shallower pool. And secondly, a lot of direct sunlight. So at some point in time, I'd like you to be able to go outside and just kind of look at the layout of your pool. You know, how does the sun track overhead? Do you have trees that are close up to the pool? Is the structure of the house close up to the pool? Because depending how the sun tracks, you know, those trees of the house can get in the way and create areas or patches of shade or it may fully envelop the pool. And you need to know that under low light, shade, cloudy, overcast conditions, dark colored pool finishes tend to, you know, tend to become clear or opaque. I've, I've even had people describe it as brooding or they, they tend to kind of take on more like a reflective pond. So if you're okay with either one of those scenarios, you know, then a dark colored pool finish may, may be best suited for you still. And something else to consider, you know, when you look out your backyard, do you want the body of water to really pop or stand out or do you want it to blend? And obviously it's, that's going to a lot depend on the surrounding materials. You know, if you got this darker surface, you know, th that color up against lighter coping, lighter decking, it's just going to pop more as opposed to if you have darker coping, darker, darker decking, and you're going from dark material into another dark material, then obviously it's just going to blend more and be more subdued or muted. So keep that in mind as well. What effect do you want the darker color pool finish to have in your backyard? Now, lastly, just one more time, I want to speak to you, those of you with the smaller, shallower pool, uh, because you may want to have try to give every appearance of dark colored water and, and frankly the only way you can achieve that is going with a dark finish and while you may while you may be able to achieve that you may have some unintended consequences in doing so now what are those unintended consequences well the unintended consequences are how dark colored finishes affect water temperature and let's be frank yes a dark colored pool finish will be warmer compared to a light colored pool finish in the same size pool that has the same depth. And that's key because for those of you who have the smaller, shallower pool, more than likely, while you'll have the darker water color, you're going to be swimming in bath water. So you need to keep that in mind as far as do I have a large deep pool or do I have a small shallow pool? Because the effect that the dark finish has on the bigger, deeper, bigger, deeper pool is not as drastic or dramatic as in the smaller, shallower pool. So, you know, for a big, deep, deeper pool compared to a lighter, uh, a light colored finish in the same size pool, you might be talking, you know, three to five degrees. But in that smaller, shallower pool, you could be talking seven, eight, nine, ten degrees. So, and that can work for you or against you depending on what part of the country you're in. For those of you in that in a northern, more most latitude where you know, the swim season is not as long, a darker colored pool finish may extend that swim season by a few weeks or more. But for those of you in the warmer areas of the country, you're, you're just gonna need to weigh that. You know, how important is it to you that you have achieved the darker water color at the expense of having warmer water? 
you know, that's, that's going to be your call to make, but it will be warmer. Now, at this point in the discussion, let's, let's talk about some of the challenges that a darker color pool finish will present uh, should you decide to go with it in regards to how it may initially appear, how it ages, and how much water care or maintenance will be required. And when I say ages, I'm referring to cosmetically how, to, how it will appear the older it gets, not if it will be structurally or sound or not, because I'm very confident that in all our finishes, they'll be structurally intact uh, the older they get. But it's at this point where the type or kind of finish will go a long way in determining just how difficult or challenging your dark colored pool finish will be. Now, it's at this point in the discussion, I'm gonna to go to the last pages of the book and I'm gonna tell you how it ends. Because if you, one of those people who are considering going with a dark colored pool finish, I'm going to encourage you to go with one of our pebble finishes. And if you think a pebble finish is too rough, I personally don't, I love the texture of pebble, but if you do, it's cool. I would, I'll just steer you in the direction of our, our polish finish called Primera Stone. And why would I do that? It's a valid question. And before I answer that, I have to say what you're about to hear, it's gonna sound like or appear that I'm just really beating up on plaster and quartz products. And that's not my intent. My intent is to educate you, to give you all the facts, the best I know how to, so that you can make an informed decision. That is my intent. So, but why? Why would I encourage you to go with either our pebble finish or our Primera Stone? It's because compared to those finishes, all plaster products and all quartz finishes, regardless of the manufacturer, they all struggle in those areas of how they initially can appear, how they can age, or how much maintenance can be required. And that's because the amount of cement that's visible on their respective surfaces. Cement is not paint. It does not cure evenly. It models, it swirls, it streaks. It can develop or possess a faux-like finish. And that can be even, even right after it's been installed. Not always, but sometimes it can. And this is also true if you're going, even if you're considering going with a light plaster or a light colored quartz finish. And so at this point, I really want to speak to those of you who are on your second finish, so to speak. Um, those of, you know, you've had all you've really have experience with is white plaster. And you just need to understand that when you introduce a pigment to the equation, it is not the pigment's fault. The pigment is merely accentuating what the cement is doing naturally. But you never had to deal with this dynamic because of all the reflection that a white plaster gives you, you just couldn't visually pick up on it. Or if it did scale up, you have sort of a white on white thing going on there. And again, you just can't visually pick it up. So now you're considering having a colored finish. So just keep all this in mind as we go on. Because you also need to know that over time, that natural faux finish, it's only going to become more and more pronounced as it ages. Now how quickly or how rapid this process takes will largely be determined by the, your water care and your, and your chemistry. But I cannot stress this point enough, even if you have perfect water chemistry and you have great maintenance, we just can't stop this folks. It's, this is just how cement, particularly cement that has been pigmented naturally ages underwater. You know, and, and I, again, I do not mean to put, assess any kind of value or judgment on what I just said. That's for you to do. Because quite frankly, for some of you, this may not even be an issue. You may find that faux finish desirable. And if that's you, then a plaster product like our Ultima or a quartz product like our Luna Quartz just may be the finish for you. And if you want that faux finish to be even more pronounced, then one of our darker colored offerings will suit you best. But if you are one of those who do not, as you go to the edge of your pool and look down, do not want to see a faux finished surface. And you do not want to watch that faux finish become more and more pronounced as it ages. If that was you, it was you I was encouraging to go with one of our pebble lines or our Primera stone. And if you still think a pebble is, a pebble is too rough, the, Primaris, the darker color Primera stones will be great, but keep this in mind. Compared to a pebble, our darker Primera stone finishes will not perform as well in regards to how they age or how they hide scale or staining. But the great thing about it is, is that if, if the water chemistry does get away from you, the Primera stone pro products can be restored by repolishing. So whether it's a light, a medium, or a dark Primera stone, you can always 
keep the feel and the look and keep it always. You'll never have to plaster a Primera Stone pool. So at the end of the day, I can put a scale up of struggles the most to struggles the least and categorize the different finishes. Um, under struggles the most, that's where I would put plaster and quartz like our Ultima and Luna. And under struggles the least, that's where I'd put our pearl matrix, our satin matrix, or prism matrix. And Primera Stone, I would put somewhere in the middle, but leaning a little bit more towards uh, the pebble finishes. And if I can take that same scale and replace the finishes with the color types, under struggles the most, that's where I would put darker colors. Under struggles the least, I would put lighter colors. And then obviously, medium colors, I would put somewhere in the middle. And that's where we're going to end our discussion today on darker colored finishes. I'm so thankful for your time and consideration. As always, we, we, we hope that all of our videos you find helpful and informative uh, because at the end of the day, we want you to be happy with whatever pool finish you decide to go with. <laughs> Obviously, we hope it's a wet edge pool finish, but even if it's not, we want you to feel empowered that you've made the right choice because you've been given the right information. Thank you again from all of us at Wet Edge, your pool finish resource.